Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will build one of the Czechoslovak's aviation icons, the Aero L39 Albatross Jet Trainer and Light Attack aircraft. For this build I choose the 172 scale Eduard kit for its perfect molding, fit and high quality. The kit is a basic weekend edition, but I will do some minor upgrade. In this build I will use a full edge cockpit from Eduard. Upgrade the L39 to a Slovak Air Force ZAM version and use camouflage and decals from my own decals army cast. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for not missing new notifications. Alright, let's start with the build. The cockpit has to be cut out and all edges cleaned with the sandpaper. All panels had to be cut and sanded down for the photo edge parts. I had to cut out the plastic ASP gun sight, I will replace it with a new one. Now I fill the gap with Mr. Putty. After all cockpit parts are cleaned, I assemble the ejection seats. The L39 cockpit looks very basic and before I use the photo edge parts, every cockpit part must be painted and weathered. For painting of the cockpit I use Mr. Color 307 light grey color. Now I paint all the details. Next, I started the weathering with a dark grey and metallic dry brush technique. After all parts are dry brushed, I seal them with a layer of clear varnish. Now I apply a black oil wash highlight panel lines and shadows. I seal all clean parts with another layer of clear varnish. Now I can start to glue the photo edge parts with a super glue. I must be very careful and glue everything precisely in place. I have just a few moments to adjustment 
After that, it will be very difficult to remove it. Some of the parts are just a few millimeters long. Next, I glue the avionic panels. The ejection seats included lots of belts and small pieces. Everything went very smoothly. And here is the assembled front part of the cockpit. As you can see, there is not too much place at all. I finished the second ejection seat. Now I can glue the cockpit to the fuselage. Of course, I can't forget to glue the jet engine turbine. I thought that the fuselage fit would be without problems, but there were small inaccuracies with the cockpit. In some areas the cockpit was too thick, I had to remove some plastic by sanding. Now I glue the air intakes, wings and horizontal stabilizers. The Slovak Air Force ZAM version used the two-barrel Gryazev Shipunov Gage 23mm cannon. Now I fill all gaps and imperfections with Mr. White Putty. Just a little bit of putty was needed. I sanded down the putty with a PC Sunrit and P1000 sandpaper. The model is getting ready for painting. I cover all necessary parts with Italian masking tape and mask the cockpit canopy with Mick Himenez liquid mask. For not overpainting the inner side of the air intakes, I use a piece of ordinary kitchen sponge. The albatross is ready for surfacing and painting. As a base, I use Mr. Surfacer 1000. An important aspect of a weathered camouflage is a good pre shading. I like my models more weathered than new. Modern Slovak L39 uses a standard NATO light and dark grey color scheme. The lower part of the model is painted with Mr. Color 308 light ghost grey color. Upper camouflage is a combination of Mr. Color 307 dark ghost grey and 305 gunship grey colors. A deceptive cabin is sprayed on the lower part of the fuselage. I seal the camouflage with a layer of super clear varnish. The decals from my own hobby army cast are very high quality. For adhering decals to the surface of the model, I use Revel Mark Soft. Now I seal the decals with another layer of super clear varnish. I highlight all panel lines with a black pin wash.
After drying it out, I remove the pin wash with a paper towel. Only a little bit of weathering will be needed. For weathering, I use ordinary burnt amber oil paint. Now I take a flat paintbrush and blend the oil paint with the surface. The weathering is complete, so I assemble the model together. First comes the landing gear. Then the addition of the external fuel tanks. The UB-16 unguided rocket launchers and the big speeder tubes. Now I apply a layer of semi-gloss varnish. At the end of the build, I unmask the cockpit canopy and glue all three parts of the fuselage. Unfortunately, the cockpit canopy assembly footage was lost by my mistake, so I want to apologize. Alright, the Slovak Air Force L-39 ZAM is finished. This build was a quick one and was a lot of fun. If you want to follow my work, you can join me on Facebook or Instagram. Thank you for watching and see you next time.